Hey folks, Jeff here from the new Janky Workshop, and I'm figuring since it's like 90 degrees out today, why not play with fire and make it even hotter in here? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. I have a little chimney outside, and that's what we use for a fire pit um, over burning wood and stuff like that during the summer months, um, sometimes even in the fall. This has been my poker, and it's made of wood. And wood and fire, no bueno. All right, so we're done with that now, aren't we? So now I need to make a new one since I just broke that one. So today I'm gonna make one out of a piece of rebar. And this is how big? Quarter inch rebar. I'm not gonna use the Ford for this. I don't think there's any need for it. Uh, we're just gonna use some blow torches. So I'm gonna get this into my portable Vice here from my father and go to town burninating this thing till I get what I want. Basically, I have a handle here, something that loops around and comes back to here. So, figure a hand length. This is a fancy lumber cran. 24 of these for numbers of dollars. I want to be able to do that. So up to there. So about half of that would probably be about here. So I think that's where I need to start my bend. Is back here. So without further ado. That's red enough to get started here. I'm gonna switch gloves. That's hot. time we have while this is hot. May not look like much, but this thing is hot as Hades. See? Ow! Simple fire poker. That's all I'm looking for. But look at the water just evaporating off of that thing. Yeah. That thing is hot. So anyways, here is my simple fire poker. Now I have this one to poke the fire with instead of the little stick that I had. It's also a bit longer, which also works out. But easy to bend metal. You just heat it up at the joint where you want to bend it, bend it in the place where you want to bench, and then boom, there you go. I was gonna, I was thinking originally something fancy with this. Maybe I'd tie it back, maybe I'd flip it around, but I kind of just like the simplicity of it. And if you sharpen the tip, you can use it for fencing. You know, if that's your thing. Anyhow.
love to roast oleum stuff because it dries so quickly. Um, it's literally 10 minutes later and I have just finished pulling it out of the garage, touching it with my hands and it's not all over it. Um, we're in my breezeway now, about to go to the backyard. See, walk out. And there's the chimney that I was talking about that we use that I'm making the fire poker for. And there's my cute wife in the pool. Say hi, cute wife. See? I, she doesn't take uh, orders well because I said to say hello and she said, I said to say hi and she said hello. So, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go hang this. You. What was that, honey? I love you. All right, see, it's on record. It's on the internets now. It, 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 as it should be. Here's a little alcove right here, right next to the chimney and our chairs. Oh, that's Dwayne. Dwayne lost his head a while back. Still working on getting him put back together. Um, but he's very patriotic. He's got stars and stripes socks. America! Yeah! Anyways, I'm going to hang this here. So give me a second. And there you can see our fire poker is now hung next to our chimney. So when we have fires, easily accessible. And a lot better than a stick that burns every time you put it in the fire, because that's what wood does. Who knew? You know, you could have moved the skeleton, right? What are you saying? Just saying. Anyhow. Ooh, fire.